This 32-year-old we will call Mark speaks with a heavy heart as he takes a trip down the memory lane of his childhood. My life has been not easy since childhood. There is some discrimination in the family and the, the rumors around saying that maybe I'm not among the, my father's children. The only person he believed could help him silence these rumors was his mother. When finally Mark mustered the courage to ask his mother whether this talk had any truth to it, the subject of DNA testing came up. And for her, she's just, she's just saying, <clears throat> the same father, eh? that is my father. One's heritage is very important in helping them find a sense of belonging. For Mark, not knowing who his father is affects his sense of belonging and that of his two children. And for them, I don't know where they will be. Eh? Like uh, the, the clan, the family, eh? things like that. So it hurts me a lot. Mark's quest for the truth has been hindered by the inability to afford the DNA test cost for both his father and him. And so for now, he has no idea whether the man he has called daddy for the last 32 years is his biological father or not. MBN Clinical Laboratories, located in Kampala's Central Business District, has for the last 13 years provided answers for parents and children who seek DNA paternity or maternity tests. Dr. Freddy Bwanga, the director at MBN Clinical Laboratories, notes an increase in the number of clients over the years. Uh, in 2010, I don't think we even had, the, we had maybe one a month. Now, they receive three to five people asking for a DNA test daily. The fee has risen from 220,000 shillings to 385,000 shillings per individual due to the increase in the cost of operation, but it has not deterred people from coming to the laboratory. The faces that fill the reception at MBN clinical laboratories searching for the truth are mostly male compared to female. For obvious reasons, the fathers maybe are the ones who doubt more than the mothers. But the mothers who also come for testing for different reasons are many. Uh, and they also maybe the grandparents of the children. So the commonest reason why, for example, the mothers come, sometimes they may not be very sure of who actually is the biological father. Could this be a telltale sign of a cocktail of things? The numbers were very small because people were not aware that the service was available. Uh, Uganda is a sex country. Yeah, and um, uh, uh, sex is just like taking a glass of wine. Science was not always the answer to these doubts of paternity issues in the past. The elder people uh, can look and find out the linkages of this child to others. What and so, would be those linkages on first sight? Uh, yeah, on first sight, it is the hands. They look at the hands, okay? The, the way they are molded, the way they are twisted. They look at the feet, okay? They look for birthmarks. While this route may have taken a father some time to eventually find out the truth, which was not always accurate, it was what was used. Science provides a 99.99% .99 accuracy through a five-step process of DNA testing within three to five working days. A peace of mind is what most clients seek. So by and large, DNA testing probably has helped families to settle uh, those family problems more amicably to the benefit of everyone, including the father, the mother, and the child in the middle of the fight. Counseling services are provided pre- and post-testing at the clinic NTV visited because while many might be in search of peace of mind, the results may be to the contrary. Most uh, parents commit suicide. Others, they get uh, mental derangement, they get many psychological disturbances, they get uh, uh, mental illness. DNA profiling, where a man can have a sample of his blood drawn and stored for future testing in the event that if he dies and any woman claims that he fathered a child with her, it can help ascertain that this is his rightful child. The truth is that many men have children who are not in the what? In the, in the house. 
NTV was not able to get accurate figures from the National Analytical Laboratory due to a tedious process. While many within Kampala can take advantage of the availability of DNA testing centers, their availability across the country is limited. Rita Kanyamujuni, NTV. And we'll go to the next.